Hi folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm back up in Perthshire. I'm actually at the Glen Turret Distillery, which according to the signs is the oldest working distillery in Scotland. And I managed to book myself on for a tour yet today. I had booked myself in yet yesterday. Um, so it's gonna be an aperture tour aperture tour. Um, that's the tour that where they actually allow you to take fo uh, photos and videos. So uh, I'll be able to kind of show you so, uh, some of the stuff that's going on inside because it's one of those kind of things where uh, I like a lot of distilleries. They're very, they can be kind of strict on uh, the taking the photos, taking the videos. Uh, I think it's, it's something to do with the kind of uh, the, the distilling process. So I'm going to be going in, my well, tour's going to be starting in about 20 minutes. So it looks like it's going to be quite a good tour. They've also got a really nice wee cafe as well. So probably going to go and have a wee nosy there as well. And hopefully you'll all enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy my video, if you enjoy my channel, please click on that subscriber button. Please click on the notification bell. It's really appreciated. And I'll see you all when I get inside. Scotland's oldest distillery. So that's the tour I'm going on. Yeah, the Glen Turret distillery is on the edge of Creef, which is Ian McGregor's hometown. And he's signed a bottle. I've also got Jeff Butler to sign one. And Andy Murray. So this is a uh, mass ton, and ton is just an old Scottish word meaning a vessel or a container. It's the only one in Scotland today of this capacity that is hand operated as well. All the other services is all automated now. It's coming through the straight pipe covers from next door as I want. It's going to set up for that little bit of food as well. So they said we're going to just put here and that one there to swing around the these are three meters, so we add another piece of stainless steel pipe as well. The more will come through from next door, and roughly about 20 minutes after it comes through, we'll add in the yeast as well. That's what that's for. Uh, every distillery we working in Scotland, they've all got their own unique size and shape as well. Um, so the size and shape of the still is quite crucial to the aid for the surface Water, and it's under lock and key because it's under the control of customs and excise. Any spirit coming through here 
and it's done usable. If you don't pay tax on it, then it goes into a bottle. And that could be quite a number of years before that spirit goes into a bottle and the tax gets paid on it. But it does, about 77% will go back to the tax. That's really Shop in there, we're going to in there in a minute. She was a silly cat for nearly 25 years. One month short of her 25th birthday, she passed away. But she's in the Guinness Book of Records as being the world's greatest mouser. Between 1963 and 87, we were malting barley here. So her job was to keep the mice away from the barley. And she did that job so successfully, she ended up in the Guinness Book of Records by killing 28,899 mice. The reason we know it is because the towser always left the tail of the mouse as that was the only part, the tail. That was her way of saying, I've done my job. And every morning the stomach would come in with a little pile of tails and we'd reward her by giving her a, a bowl of milk with some new big spirit in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was her saying, I'll for the as well. But it didn't do her any harm, we lived for 25 years uh, as well. Um, now, Guinness Book of Records heard about this and they came across here uh, for one week, and over that week, they counted all the tales that they found and multiplied it by a lifetime. That's how they ended up with the figure. <laughs> what does? Uh, um, it's just a little bit piggly piggly, but you know, it's, it's the best we can do in the, uh, this space here as well. Um, Well, that's me just finished my tour around the Glen Turret Whiskey Distillery. And you'll probably, if you're com coming up, you'll probably see signs for, I think it's the, the Grouse Experience. And I think it, it essentially is Glen Turret because uh, the guy was saying that they used to do whiskey for uh, famous grouse. So that's kind of why it was called the, the Grouse Experience. But they're now focusing on doing their own whiskey, and yeah, so they're kind of they're under new management. They're kind of want to ex experiment a wee bit, do some more interesting whiskies, use different barrels, and I think they're going to be up in their their output as well. So definitely ones to be looking out for, and they do have a connection to to Hollywood, especially with Ewan McGregor being from Creef. And yeah, it's one, it's one of those wee uh, distilleries, it's just really pretty. It's just a great wee place to stop off and explore and get a tour. They do do different tours. And I think they do a connoisseur tour one as well, a, a connoisseur tour. So again, they probably do have different things for different people, depending on your taste. And plus it is on the, the, the Heart 200 road route. So. Whatever reason you may have for coming visit, to visit uh, the Glen Turret Distillery, I would definitely recommend coming to visit anyway. So I'm going to stop babbling on now and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.